Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Teachers Morning Leap Session for February 26, 2018. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Teachers. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our levels, our targets, and our hypotheses. We do create multiple hypotheses. We do not know what the market's going to do. Therefore, we create multiple plans based on who would be in control, the buyers or the sellers. We create two main plans and two alternative plans for expansion. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumleapfeatures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here in the go-to. Then we do live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And the trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Take a look at uh, Friday's plan. We are looking for an open auction in range. We're looking for the gap to get closed and somewhere down between there and the 2708 our uh, over underline we are expecting buyers to step in and rotate us up and start drifting up towards that micro composite vpoc in our target uh which has you know been our target for the last uh, couple days into the last week at the micro composite vpoc at 2733.50 uh, we got there and uh, we talked about the fact that we are likely to drift into the close and continue and not to fade, uh, you know, the close that we're likely to just drift up, uh, up towards that uh, 45 area and the uh, prior range high at the 49 and a quarter. And that is exactly what we got. A uh, couple things, uh, the micro composite VPOC uh, shifted uh it uh, shifted down to the 20 uh i think it's 27 24 sorry 2450 it shifted when we were chopping around uh in that area we actually had a uh a micro composite vpoc shift down to the 2450 where you know the buyers were stepping in and then uh, rotated back up it never shifted back up uh, in the Globex uh, Sunday, we opened auction out of range and we came back down uh, to that 42 uh, area, uh, back to uh, you know where the uh, VPOC shifted up and then we rotated up and we're continuing. And we actually almost hit that target. Remember, we had that target up at uh, 20, uh, 2762. We've got a weak high right now uh, with the multiple distribution. Uh, with the LVN here at 56. Uh, half gap close is going to be approximately 53. We still have to wait for uh, to see where we open, but uh, uh, it looks like this market wants to continue up. Taking a look at the news, uh, we did just have uh, uh, Chicago Fed national activity you know, came out with 0 0.12, uh, expected 0 0.20. Um, the big news today will be we've got Draghi speaking in nine minutes uh, uh, coming out. Uh, we've got uh, some European news. Uh, then at 10 o'clock, we've got new home sales. That will be the big one today. Uh, Dallas uh, Fed manufacturing at 1030. Uh, and then we've got uh, three-month and six-month bill at 1130, all times in Eastern. And then we've got uh, FOMC uh, Coral speaking later on this afternoon at uh, uh, 3:15. Uh, so uh, not a, not a real uh, big. We do have news this week. We've got GDP, uh, CPI. Uh, we've got some uh, some news coming out later this week. Going to uh, I always like to start my day just taking a look at a simple candlestick chart. Um, I started on a monthly. What I'm doing is I'm just, uh, I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA. Those are my moving averages that I use for my homework. I do not use them to trade. I use them for study. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm looking at the time frames and, uh, you know, how strong the tra a trend is in those particular 
uh, time frames. And you know, I'm looking for slope and separation where the trend is being challenged by ch testing the nine, where it's a possible change of trend with a break of the 20. You can see that we dipped down this month. Our month, we've got three days left. We've had uh, 308 and three quarter points uh, of range this month. Our month high is all the way up at 28.37.75. Our month low is all the way down at 25.29. So uh, no real chance of coming down and uh, and testing the low. The open of the month is 28.28.75. That's uh, something that you want to pay attention to uh, as we come into the uh, end of the month, whether or not this uh, changes and gets into a positive territory if we get above that 28, 28 uh, area. Um, going to the weekly, you can see that uh, we did go down and challenge uh, the trend. It looked like they were going to roll over, but they took it right back. And now we've got uh, we've gotten above the 9, the 20. We're getting slope and separation to the upside. The trend is intact on the weekly. On the daily, same thing. We dipped down. It looked like we were getting a downward uh, trend and then they broke back above and now we're working our way back more consolidation still on the daily going to the four hour you can see that uh, you know we're starting to trend up again on the uh, four hour getting slope and separation to the upside and then to the 30 minute You see that we're just basically riding the uh, the nine up. We're you know we're losing some slope and separation right now, but we're going to be breaking and opening above the uh, prior day range. So just taking a look at the big picture, the, uh, the larger structure. As I said, we had a shift down from the 3350 uh, micro pause of epoch down to the 2450 area, and then we get our breakout day. Uh, you know, we're above the uh, micro deposit value area high and uh, right now trading at uh, 59.50. There's not a lot in this area. Uh, what I'm watching is this candle right here, the 50% the, uh, the of the significant breakout candle. We are, you know, we're trying to hold value up here and then we broke out and fell down out of that value. The 50% of that uh, significant breakout candle is up here at the 8150 and if we do get uh, buyers in control today that's the major target above uh, but there's still a lot of thin uh, area on auction territory in this area the immediate uh, numbers we want to pay attention to obviously the uh, prior micro composite vpoc here uh, at the 4650 there's an hvn here at uh, at the 83 area, uh, which is just above the 50% of the significant uh, breakdown candle. And then we've got this uh, LVN, micro deposit LVN at the 89.75. Those are going to be our guides for, and if you're going to use a profile day, this is, uh, this is the profile day that you want to pay attention to here if we hold above the low of this candle at 27.55 and a quarter. Overnight inventory is... Uh, Basically pretty balanced. I'd say it's maybe 60% net long, <clears throat> but we did dip down and, uh, and spend some time in the uh, upper distribution of Friday, uh, but they have accepted that uh, 45, 46 area. That, remember, that's the micro deposit VPOC from prior uh, on the way up. So we accepted that value again. They moved up. We've got a double distribution with this LVN uh, zone here at the uh, 56 uh, and a quarter down to the 54.50. VPOC did shift up, so value is coming up with us, and uh, we're going to be opening uh, outside of yesterday or Friday's uh, range. Um, so watch these levels here at the LVN. I've gone in and put uh, most of the levels uh, in. Uh, I'm going to be watching the 56 area. Right now, the approximate half gap fell. Well, we're trading, we just uh, 58, uh, 75, and 48, 75. So we got approximately uh, 58. Why is my calculator not working? 58, 75, and 48, 75. It's a 10 point gap. 
Our half gap is going to be roughly 53.75 right now. Again, this is fluid. Uh, our overnight high is just above it. We're likely to uh, to uh, even possibly push up into that as we move towards uh, the RTH and our VPOC from overnight is 59.50. So in terms of hypotheses, uh, we're going to be opening up with the gap up. So gap rules are in play. I'm looking for an open auction out of range, a move down towards the half gap, possibly even come down and testing the 49 to 45 area. But uh, uh, first area I'll be looking for buyers is at the half gap. Second area I'll be looking at 49. And then somewhere between this area, 49 and 45, if we do get back down here, I'm looking for uh, buyers to step in and continue the uh, the move up, taking out the overnight high and pushing up towards that target at 62, and then uh, possibly even going up into the 70s and then going sideways from there and then drifting back down towards the 59 area and closing somewhere there. That is hypo one. Hypo two, which has uh, got equal weight to it because of the fact that we've got a double distribution from Friday. Uh, I'm looking at an open auction out of range, a push up, take out the overnight high, uh, and then find responsive sellers up here in the uh, 60, 65 area, and then rotate down into the 45, chop around here, push through to the lower distribution, and then fail and come down to the 24. And then in the 2450, I'm expecting the base and start working our way up and closing somewhere up in the upper distribution in the 42 to 45 area. That is hypo two. Hypo three is a gap and go, uh, a take uh, a continuation day, open auction, fail to take uh, to close the gap somewhere between 56 and 53. Find buyers right away, push us up into the 70s, chop around here, and then push up into the 81.50 an 89.75 area and closing somewhere back up here in the uh, in the 80s. Uh, our daily 20 period full session ATR, average to range, is continuing to expand. It is currently running at 63.93. So we do have potential to reach the 28.06.50 area and get back into the 28s. Remember, we still have those unadjusted all time highs. Uh, we have a Globex all time high at 20. 878.50 and our RTH global uh, RTH all-time high at 2875.75. And I said that it's likely that we'd go back up there. I'm still expecting it to happen. I just said with that move down of over 300 points, uh, it'd likely take us some time to get back up there. Uh, so that typo three as a gap and go. Uh, hypo four is a break down day and a move back into the balance that we just broke out of in around this micro composite VPOC at 24.50. And I'd be looking for an open auction out of range, take out the overnight high, fail, come down immediately, closing the gap, testing the uh, LVN from the double distribution, failing, coming down into the 24, getting a late day probe down back into the 27. 09 to uh, or 2709 to uh, 2713 area, closing this gap that we missed on Friday. We missed this gap uh, by about three ticks, and then working and basing and coming up and closing in around the 2450 area. So those are my four main hypotheses. Uh, again, I don't know which one's going to play out, but I have a plan for each, and I'll be watching for clues and my levels to uh, get me into trades. Our over underline is going to be the LVN. So I'm still looking and my bias is still to the long side as, as long as we hold the 2733.75. But if we get below that, then my bias gets short and uh, start uh, uh, looking for that uh, 2450 target uh, below uh, to get retested again. Uh, just a quick look at gold. Gold is balanced, and we talked about this uh, this 31 area on Friday. And uh, if we could hold that and accept that, we'd get a test up into the 
upper part of that distribution. Again, all these videos are up on the uh, on the YouTube channel. You can go and check out what we talked about. But we did talk about accepting the 31 to 32 area and then pushing and testing the uh, upper side of this distribution at 35. And if we broke above that, back up into that 39 area. And we're currently now back in the longer time frame balance at 39. If we can hold this, look for them to test the upper distribution in the 42 to 43 area. And then a breakout we're looking and targeting uh, up here in that uh, 46 to 47 area. If we can't hold the 39, look for them to come down and test that 35. And then you break below the 35. I'm looking for a move back into the 31, 32 area, get them back into this balance and just chopping sideways. Any breakdown below the 28, again, all these numbers were Friday's numbers as well. Looking for a bigger move down to test the lower side at the 22, 23 area and possibly even down into this uh, 20 uh, area. So that's what, <clears throat> that's what I'm looking at in gold. That's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.